Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sangeeta Chaudhary and I welcome everyone to my lecture class again. In my today's lecture class, I am going to talk about lung collapse. We are going to learn what is lung collapse and how a lung collapse will look like in a chest x-ray. What are the causes of lung collapse and how we can differentiate collapse and consolidation from a chest x-ray. So, let's know about collapse. Now, what actually lung collapse is? Lung collapse means removal of air from the lung. We know that air looks black in a chest x-ray. So, when there is removal of air from the lung tissue, it will look white. So, collapse looks white in chest x-ray. At the same time, we should know about consolidation. Okay. So, what is consolidation? Consolidation means solidification of the lung tissue. It also means there is a presence of fluid or pus in the alveoli. Okay. So, consolidation will also look white in a chest x-ray. So, we will have to learn how to differentiate between consolidation and collapse from a chest x-ray. Now, what are the common causes of lung collapse? The most common cause of lung collapse is a pneumothorax. Now, what is a pneumothorax? Pneumothorax means there is presence of air in pleural cavity. Okay. So, air in pleural cavity means pneumothorax. Uh, we will uh, learn what are the findings of pneumothorax in a chest x-ray in my following class. So, other than pneumothorax, the other causes of lung collapse is blocked airway. Okay, If there is blockade of an airway, the lung will get collapse. Okay, uh, The causes may be bronchogenic carcinoma or CA bronchus. It may be due to a foreign body. Even post-surgery also, there may be lung collapse. Now, let's see how we differentiate lung collapse and consolidation. Okay, Because both will look white in chest x-ray. In collapse, there will be tracheal shift. Okay, Most of the time, in case of collapse, trachea will shift towards the site of collapse. Okay. But in consolidation, there is no shifting, okay? Because in consolidation, there is no pulling or pushing force. So, trachea will remain in the midline. Now, in collapse, there will be distortion of anatomy of the lung. There will be distortion of the lung fissures, okay? But in consolidation, there is no distortion of the lung architecture. If you talk about air bronchogram, air bronchogram are usually absent in a collapse and they are present and very much specific for consolidation. Now what is air bronchogram? Air bronchogram means air inside the bronchus okay, or bronchi. So, in cases of consolidation, we will be able to visualize the air bronchogram okay, in the background of consolidation. But in cases of collapse, we do not see any air bronchogram. Okay. In collapse, there will be overcrowding of ribs. Okay. As I have already mentioned, the lung architecture will be distorted and there will be overcrowding of ribs. But in case of consolidation, there is no overcrowding of ribs ribs so these are the few points by which we can differentiate between consolidation and collapse okay. now let's take a look at the chest x-ray this is a real chest x-ray pa view this is the right lung fill this is the left lung fill now if we look carefully we can see that there is collapse of the left lung this is the lung margin we have said that collapse will look white in chest x-ray because there is removal of the air from the lung tissue so this is the collapsed lung which is looking white we have also said that the trachea will be 
pulled towards the side of the collapse but if we look at this particular chest x-ray in this chest x-ray the trachea is rather pushed towards the opposite side why so this is because in the left hemithorax there is collapse of the lung which is associated with the pneumothorax so in the left side there is pneumothorax and probably pneumothorax is the reason for the collapse of the left lung now how do we know that there is pneumothorax okay we can see that the lucency is increased in the left side if you compare with the right side and in the right side we can see all the bronchovascular markings which is completely absent in the left side and the trachea is pushed towards the opposite side okay so these are the sign from which we can know that there is left sided pneumothorax and because of the pneumothorax the lung is collapsed okay so uh, this is how we can identify a lung collapse from a chest x-ray thank you so much for your patience hearing i hope it helps